Hi, I'm Ben Forster and I'm having a cup of tea with Wilma to discuss all things Elf. Uh, basically, I uh, came to London when I was 16, uh, went to uh, Italia Conti uh, Academy and um, opened my first West End show when I was 18, which was La Carver, and I was in the ensemble, it was amazing, absolutely loved it, working for the Broccoli family, um, Dana Broccoli, who's quite similar to Wilma actually, she was like a queen, she was the fourth richest woman in the world, which is amazing, so we were like, it was, we were tre amazing, had beautiful catering and she had a throne that she used to come and sit on in the house, it was amazing. And um, uh, yeah, that was my first West End show, did a few West End shows, kind of, uh, played around with music a little bit and songwriting and um, and then uh, got an amazing opportunity to be in Thriller live in the West End which was amazing so I opened the original cast of that um, and then was in that a few years and did the uh, world tour and then heard about a little competition coming up on TV called Jesus Christ Superstar or Superstar which was on ITV and uh, decided to go online and enter and did and haven't really looked back it's been the most amazing time ever since So the story is about Buddy the Elf, who basically uh, is an unlawful baby, and he crawls into Santa's sack um, one year, and Santa discovers him when he gets back to the North Pole, so decides to keep him, because he was an orphan, and uh, the elves raise him, and Buddy thinks he's an elf, but obviously outgrows all the elves, and uh, the story is about sort of his... Um, coming of being a human being really you know he he has to move to new york to find his real dad once he finds out that he's a human um and it's his trials and tribulations of coming into the real world and negative things and positive things and love and all this all the kind of exciting things about being a human being he discovers um and it's about his journey and him inspiring again the human race to have the christmas spirit because that's what makes santa slay fly Uh, I think without sounding like a um, old douchebag, I think it's the typical things like you know being with my nephews and my mum and dad and family and buying them all nice presents and seeing the faces when they open them and having a really beautiful Christmas dinner, eating twenty five boxes of chocolates, drinking a bottle of port, eating cheese, mince pies, uh, you know, and the fact that it's just one of those days where everyone. Is doing the same. It's just a special day. Yeah. All I want to do is all the girls' parts. <laughs> it is. It's true. I just want to be Alphaba. Um, I want to be. Um, uh, I would love to be Fontaine. I would love to be. I would have loved to have been Scaramouche. Hannah Jen Fox, original Scaramouche, amazing. I love that part. It was funny and a gutsy and amazing. Um, there's just so many. The girls' parts are always brilliant. One that kind of always fills me with terror is when I was doing Jesus Christ Superstar in Sydney and we were in a huge arena. I can't remember the name of it, but it's like 24,000 people, something ridiculous. And if you saw the, our production of Jesus Christ Superstar, you'll know that there was a huge, uh, big screen, which, I mean, magnified everything that you do by a hundred times. And just as I was about to start Gethsemane, I have a row with Judas, and Tim Minchin threw me down the stairs, and my jeans split from knee to knee. And I looked down, and I had white pants on they were quite baggy actually don't know why they should have been fitted they were quite baggy and basically i had to sing the whole of gethsemane and try and get in the moment of this amazing conversation with god thinking yeah my bits are just hanging out bobbing around and there was on a screen in front of twenty four thousand people so that was quite hard to keep focused that day but you yeah, know that's probably the worst Um, I think the the great thing that Elf like sort of captures is just the Christmas spirit. You know, it's it's uh, it's the same as the movie, but just different enough to be refreshing and fun. Um, and it's it's got a heart and soul. I think I really love the buddy that I play, 
I love the music. I think if you can preview the music or get it off iTunes, we just did a, uh, the album. I think if you've he heard the songs twice, you'll love the show even more because the songs are so catchy. On the second or third time you hear them, they're just in your head for days, which is quite annoying sometimes. Um, uh, and you know, I think it's just, it's the perfect thing to come and see if you want to come and see something at Christmas and get in the mood. Uh, right, first question. Have you developed or changed any parts of Buddy's character since Dublin? And that's from Ray Sheen. Um, I don't know whether I've changed anything. I think everything developed. I think when you're doing something every day or you're doing it eight times a week, I think things just develop and you find places where you can give a bit more, give a bit less. Um, I'm one of them performers that kind of, I quite like playing with things. I don't always do it a mirror of the show before. Mm. I quite like it when things change around a bit. So I think it's probably been fine tuned a little bit. Um, but in essence, he's the same as last year, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what one thing would people be surprised to know about you? And that's from Tracy Lee, 01. Mm, uh, maybe I've got a hobby that no one really knows about. Mm -hmm. Maybe some people do, but I, I really, uh, I'm obsessed with property, and I develop property in my spare time. That's not a bad hobby. Is it? No, it's a nice hobby. I love it, but it is like I, it's, it's a clever hobby. It's lovely because it keeps me focused on something completely different. So as soon as I wake up, I'm in a different land to theatre yeah. land. I'm not. Yeah. I think it's kept me kind of healthy and not obsessed with this sort of business. And I think if this was my only thing, it's it's easy to become kind of obsessed with things and you know, a bit hashtag stagey. Yeah, but that's looking after your pension. Yeah, no, that's why I kind of started, but I really love it and I think it keeps my mind really healthy and, yeah. and me happy, so. Wow, great answer. Um, if you weren't in theatre, what job would you do? And that's from Fran Maddock. Um, well, maybe the proper one, but if it wasn't, I mean, I know, I know when I was like 15, 16, it was between mm. taking two different routes in my life. One was to be like a marine biologist and go and live in the highlands of Scotland and count the whales and dolphins and all that stuff, which I love. And that's what I would do on a holiday. I love marine biology and I love the ocean and the sea and stuff. So it could have been like a completely different life, I suppose. I could have been like a scientist and doing my bit for nature. But I'm not. Wow. I'm part of the elf. Yes. <laughs> um, I think this is the last one. How do you maintain your health to do eight shows a week? Um, That's from M Maria Pearson, I must I say. Think, I think what always helps is the rehearsal process. I think you kind of build stamina up every day when you're rehearsing, so usually you're rehearsing for like a month. Mm. So you know that you, you're working all day, every day, and it just kind of gets you stronger, I think, for yeah. when you start performing. And obviously, I don't drink any alcohol. Oh. Which is terrible because I love red wine. I love red wine so much. But when I'm performing or when I'm singing, I can't have any alcohol because it just dries my voice out terribly. So <clears throat> it's kind of a decision whenever I'm in a show, I don't drink. So it's little things like that, you know, eating the right sort of power foods that you need for energy, vitamins, Barocca, and just stamina. Well, well, you definitely need that. I mean, eight shows a week is ridiculous. It Lots is of hard. You do it. Yeah. Lots of you do it. So, um... <laughs> who would you love to duet with besides me? That's oh. from Michelle D32. <laughs> a duet. You know what? I'd love to. Do? I'd love to do a duet with, like a stagey one. I'm going to give you two answers. Yeah. Good. I would love to sing a song, just for my. Moment in life with Adele. Wow. I love Adele, and I just think if I could sing a song with Adele, life would be complete. Knock me over by a bus, I wouldn't even care. But a stagey one, I would love to sing with um, Barbara Streisand. Wow. You know what I mean? Or one of the biggies, Celine Dion or someone, and just be like, wow. Yeah. I'd love to do that. Yeah, I'm sure lots of people would. Yeah. Babs. <laughs> Babs. Babs. Barbara. Oh, yeah. Babs. Babs. Are you hashtag stagey or are you not hashtag stagey? No, it's all an illusion. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you very much for having a cup of tea with me and Wilma. Um, I'm here at the Dominion Theatre until the 2nd of January. Please come and see Elf and uh, give me a wave. Thank you, Wilma. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> that was wonderful.